Hello, good afternoon everyone. How are you guys doing? This is Mr. Austin from Bushmeat Farms. I'm here again. Tell your friends to come on. I promise you guys that farm with me is going to be almost every day. Okay, as long as I'm in the farm, I'm going to be taking shots of what I'm doing here so that we all learn. Okay, that your farm, those problems that you're having there, you can share it with me. We can discuss about it. God bless you guys. Um, today's topic is going to be wonderful. So tell your friends to come and have a view of this. I call today's topic strategic and fast way of meeting your grass cutters. Strategic and fast way of crossing your animal. Um, you will ask me what is the special thing about it. Is when you successfully cross your animal that they will get pregnant. If they are not crossed, um, the pregnancy will not occur. And uh, you can wait for ages, waiting for your females to give birth, and time will be going. Okay? So, strategic and fast way of crossing your animal is a very important topic I want us to discuss today. Um, and I know I won't take your time much, okay? There is a secret I'm going to reveal to you. Don't let anybody know. Don't tell my fellow farmers, okay? It's been um, a tradition that whenever you call for a colony in Nigeria here, I'm not talking about any other country, you call for a colony, what you hear is one female, four female. I mean, one male to four female. That is how we sell it. It has been like a tradition that everybody knows. One male, four females. But let me tell you, I'm against it right now. Okay? My experience in the farming, uh, grass cutter farming has shown me that there are more to it. Okay? Um, I'm going to be telling you why I'm against it. Okay, and let me tell you, all of us, we are guilty here. Even me, I've been selling one male, four females in Nigeria here. That's the, the tradition of our uh, combination of animal. Okay, we sell one male, four females. But I want to tell you that when a constitution is written, there will be a time for amendment. Okay, I've come to amend it. But please keep it secret. I want you to be smarter than the farmers themselves when you are coming in as a new farmer. I want you to be smarter. Okay? Whenever you call for animal and they'll tell you one male, four females, no problem. Accept it. But what do I want you to do? I want you to be smarter this time. That after telling you the price of a colony, let's say they say, uh, Two, two months to three months a uh, colony is hundred thousand or maybe perfect three months original age is hundred and ten thousand because that is the price right now okay what you do is when you accept to buy that colony after buying that colony please ask the farmer to sell extra one meal for you there is a reason there is a reason for selling extra one meal for you that meal will help you. It will help you as a farmer that you are starting new. Okay? Let me give you the information now. When you have one male and four females in your cage, initially, they are not as big as they are just young, young grass cutters. They can cook in that cage. They can stay together. They are still, their sizes are still small. Okay? And as their first crossing, they might successfully cross. You understand? And when they cross, um, there are possibilities that four of them can be pregnant. Also, there are possibilities that one or two or three of them will be pregnant. Maybe one will not be pregnant. Reasons, I will explain. Okay? When you require a request for two males, there is an advantage for you. Number one, 
Two males stands for different things. I want to tell you why you need these two males. I want to tell you why. These two males is going to do a lot for you. Number one, blood group. In grass cutter, there's what we call inbreed. Okay? A brother and a sister in grass cutter world cannot meet. If they do, their children will die when they give birth. Okay? That is inbreeding. But when you buy a colony, definitely the male will be from a different group. So you let the farmer know that. I want another male that is not the same group with the female. That is, you are having two males that are different group. Do you understand? Blood group. To be able to cross that your four female. That means already you are having two different blood group in your farm, in one colony. That's number one advantage. Number two is that when they give birth, already you will know that this children of this male is different from these children. You can even use them together to mate together. Do you understand what I'm saying? So right now, the reason why I'm telling you there's a need for you to get second male, that is the strategy we are talking about here, is to help you to avoid inbreeding. Number one. Number two. You understand? I'm jotting things down so that I don't make mistakes. Number two is that when these animals are getting big, that your one male for female that you put in one cage when you are crossing them, after the first birth, you will see that the females are now very big. After giving birth and breastfeeding, you see that the four females are now very big and the male too is already big because they will be already one year plus. Do you understand? Now, putting them back together in one cage, number one, the four females, they might likely fight. They are no longer a young grass cutters anymore. They are wiser right now. Do you understand? They might likely fight. Apart from that, this, the cages they are in before might not be able to contain them again they are now bigger than what when you bought them or probably when you first cross them do you understand the point now so there is a need for you to have two males so that from beginning you can be crossing them two to one male two to one male and even if in their second birth they are very big you can still cross them and there will be three in a cage. One male and two female. One male and two female. The benefit is this. It's more faster. The male will be able to handle the two properly and cross them successfully. Number two, again, is that the space will be enough for them to run around, to move around, to occupy them for that first three months of crossing. Do you understand it? So, um, our discussing, we are discussing this today because most time we buy this animal one male and four female and sometimes you know that that one male in that colony might not be active enough to cross these animals and that is how somebody will be a, 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 a waiting for the, the females to get pregnant and you'll be waiting and waiting and one year will go you'll be complaining that you don't know what is happening to your farm. So, but there will be an advantage when you have two males. Do you understand? Even if one is not active, the second one will be. You are getting the point right now, okay? So, Mr. Austin is telling you, I'm standing in the motion that when you are buying your grass cutter, be wiser, be smart, okay? After selling the colony for you, tell them to that you want extra one male. It will go a long way for you. As, and let me also tell you the secret. When they sell a colony for 100,000 for you, if you divide it into five, that is one male, four female, it will round up in 20,000 each. Okay? If you are buying a single male as young as that three months old, the price of that single male will be half price of that colony of 20,000. So that means that single male, the price will be 10,000. Do you understand? They cannot sell it at the same price of calculated colony. Alright? 
So that means if you are buying completed three months for 110,000, the extra may can be 10,000. That is making it 120,000. My brother, be wise. Pay that 120 because it's going to help you in the future of your farm. In avoiding inbreed, also in getting great results when you cross your animal. I hope I'm making sense. I hope I'm making sense. It's when you cross your animal successfully that your grass cutter will be pregnant. And it's when they are pregnant, it will lead to multiplying your farm. When your farm is multiplied, there will be animal for you to sell and make money to your pocket. This is Mr. Austin from Bridge Meat Farms. This is little I can share with us today. Strategic and fast way is that when you are buying your animal, be more smart. Don't feel cheated. Don't feel that you are being stupid. Pay for extra meal. There will be need for it to be able to be fast when you are crossing them. Also to be able to give you what they want. God bless you guys. I'm coming your way tomorrow again. See you tomorrow. This is Mr. Austin from Bushmeat Farms. You can call me if you need advice. We can. We are open to you. We can advise you. Also, if you are setting up your farm, definitely trust us. We will deliver to you. God bless you. See you tomorrow.